Thank you, Matthew, for that rousing processional fanfare. Uh, so, well done. Uh, and I'm going to ask you to remain up. Please take a seat. So a huge welcome to uh, our parents, uh, their families, uh, to uh, the young men who are part of the junior school at St Paul's Collegiate School, to this, the graduation uh, ceremony for and junior prize giving for us for 2020. All right, so I'm going to ask you to bow your heads and we're all going to say together the school prayer. Heavenly Father, giver of all that is good. We thank you for the blessings and privileges we daily enjoy as members of the school. Give us grace, we pray, to use your gifts and glory in service of others. Strengthen us to stand firm in our faith in our Saviour, Jesus Christ. May your Holy Spirit so rule our hearts and lives that we may daily grow in the love of you and one another. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Okay, so look, we're going to start off with the Year 9s, recognising Year 9 academic achievement, and I'm going to invite Mrs Helen Bradford, uh, the Deputy Headmaster, whose specific responsibilities are in the area of uh, Year 9s, to come forward and to read out the Year 9 certificate winners. Uh, and Mrs Bradford is going to invite Mr Coley to help present the certificates. Morena, it's my pleasure this morning to read out the subject and class winners for our Year 9. And I've invited Mr Coley, who's our Deputy Headmaster for the Senior Academic School. I'll read out a group of boys, in an, um, probably eight at a time, so if you could hold your applause until we have the eight recipients at the front, and then we'll applaud them as a group. Isaac Aubrey. Second in subject, French. John O'Allen, who's absent today, got second in class for mathematics and second in class for science. He also got third in class for social studies. Nate Bodel, first in class for social studies, second in class for science, third in class for physical education. Raina Bonington, second in class for mathematics. Ben Brown, Third in subject for physical education and first in class for physical education. Edward Buckley, first in class for English, first in class for science. Logan Casey, second in class for physical education. Riley Collingwood, second in subject for Spanish and third in class for English. If we could congratulate these boys. Thank you.
Dylan Cook, first in class for physical education, third in class for English, and third in class for science. Luca Daru, first in subject for drama, second in class for social studies, third in class for physical education. Jake Dua, third in subject for French. Asha Downing, third in subject for Te Reo Māori. Harry Epson, second in subject for design and visual communication. Liam Fairweather, third in subject for art and second in class for English. Samson Farrar, second in subject for social studies and second in class for social studies. And Max Finlayson, first in class for mathematics, first in class for social studies, and third in class for science. If you could congratulate these. <laughs> Liam Fisher, second in class for mathematics, and third in class for English. Sam Fletcher, third in subject for drama. Dylan Gardner, second in subject for physical education and first in class for physical education. Will Hadley, first in subject for Spanish, third in subject for English, first in class for physical education and third in class for English. Finn Hood, second in class for mathematics, second in class for science and second in class for social studies. Oliver Hooper, third in class for English, third in class for physical education, third in class for science. Samuel Hull, second in class for physical education. Leon Inman, first in subject for physical education and first in class for physical education. Nicholas, oh, we'll applaud these boys, thanks. <laughs> Nicholas Jones, third in subject for drama, third in subject for music, first in class for science, second in class for English, and third in class for mathematics. Jamie Kenny, first in subject for French, first in class for English, first in class for social studies, and third in class for science. Ben Kibbe, third in class for physical education. Jaden King, third in class for mathematics. Kaylin Lake, first in subject for social studies, second in subject for Te Reo Māori, and first in class for social studies. Luca Lim, third in class for social studies. Jim Lin, first in class for mathematics, first in class for science, and second in class for social studies. If we could applaud these young men, thank you. Hayden Lloyd, first in class for science. Logan Lumsden, third in class for mathematics and third in class for physical education. Max Makem's not here today, but he got first in class for English. Jack McSweeney, second in class for English. Gianni Mickelson, second in class for English and second in class for mathematics. Sac Nation, third in class for English. Peter Nelson, first in subject for English, second in subject for science, first in class for English, second in class for science, third in class for physical education. Jackson Norris, Jackson receives an industry award. He also gains second in subject for art, second in subject for music, first in class for mathematics, first in class for physical education, first in class for science, second in class for English, and third in class for social studies. If you could applaud these men, thank you. George O'Callaghan, third in subject for religious studies, First in class for English, first in class for social studies, second in class for science, and third in class for mathematics. Chief Anne, third in subject for social studies, and third in class for social studies. 
Austin Plum is not here today, but he gained an industry award. He also got second in subject for materials technology and first in class for physical education. Jacob Porteous, second in class for science, third in class for English. Finn Pryor, first in class for mathematics. Alex Quested, he gains an industry award. He also got first in class for English, first in class for mathematics, first in class for science, second in class for physical education, and third in class for social studies. Tanner Richards, third in subject for materials technology, first in class in social studies, and second in class in science. Christiana, Cristiano Sarich, second in class for physical education, and second in class for social studies. If we could applaud these, these boys, please. <clears throat> Benjamin Settle, first in class for English, second in class for physical education, and third in class for social studies. William Sinclair, second in subject for science, third in subject for social studies, second in class for science, and third in class for social studies. Kate Slade is not with us today, but he did gain first in subject for materials technology and second in class in physical education. Sam Stokes, second in class social studies. Tom Story, second in subject religious education. Tian Sapsumpon, second in class for science and third in class for mathematics. Salisi Toika, second in class for social studies. Jasper Thomas, first in class for English and first in class for social studies. If we could applaud, thank you. Joshua Toon. Joshua gains an industry award alongside second in subject for English, second in subject for mathematics, third in subject for design and visual communication, second in class for English and second in class for mathematics. Nico Veach. Second in class for social studies, third in class for mathematics, third in class for physical education. Matthew Berry. Third in class for science. Jack Welch. Second in subject for drama. Jacob Sue's not with us today, but he gained first in subject for mathematics, first in subject for science, first in class for mathematics, and first in class for science. Thomas Hetzinger. Got this? No? Um, Jimmy Zhang, first in class for mathematics. Following students um, will be receiving a prize at another prize giving. They also gain some subject placing, so I'll read them, um, but they will be coming up tomorrow. So Benjamin Anderson gained first in subject for art, first in subject for design and visual communication. Sam Cancel got first in subject for music and third in subject for Spanish. And Toby Shale got first in subject for religious education. Thank you, boys. We now have one of our special awards. We do have a number of special awards for the junior school. We're awarding it today because this young man um, has commitments for the rest of the um, weekend. So this trophy is the Cancel Trophy for Resilience in the junior school. It's awarded to a junior student for outstanding determination and resilience. So this young man is outstanding. He has worked with determination and diligence through what has been a challenging year. Embracing all the pillars of St Paul's, his achievements are the result of a positive attitude, hard work and purpose. He has excelled in sport, contributing to the under-14 rugby team, basketball, the premier touch team and sevens rugby. He has gained junior colours and he also gained third place in the school cross country. He has also achieved very well academically, gaining first in subject for physical education. He also is the winner of the Borders Citizen Award for Term 4 for his house, Clark House. The recipient for 2020 is Leon Inman.
Karolina. I'd like, now like to invite um, Redman Rickman forward. No, we missed a page. Sorry? Oh, got that. So we have, oh, sorry, we're going to go with our musical item, Sam Cancel playing trumpet. Fly me to the moon. Well done, Sam. Thank you, Mr. Carpenter, for accompanying Sam. Uh, really tricky piece, so well done. Awesome. Okay, so look, um, my role really is just to talk a little bit about what actually graduation is. Um, and so once again, it's my pleasure to warmly welcome you know, the parents, the guests, both the Tiwi uh, and Hamilton staff to this very special occasion, marking the graduation of our year 10 students into the senior school. Graduation is basically when you're recognised as having passed a crucial point or a stage in your education or your life, and are deemed ready to take on a different and probably more difficult challenges. People graduate from high school, they graduate from universities, but today we're here to celebrate a milestone for our year 10 students, their shift into the higher stakes of senior secondary school. Two years ago, most of the uh, young men being recognised today entered St Paul's as nervous year nine boys from a homeroom environment of intermediate school or from their full primary schools. At some point in the past 12 months, they underwent a potentially life-changing experience while down at the Tiwi Venture campus. Limited access to social media and mobile phones, extremely cold temperatures, and perhaps even a dusting of snow, and certainly a lot of frost. Months away from their families, living in a house with eight other guys who they had to cook and clean for. Participation in an extreme range of activities, ranging from caving to abseiling to whitewater kayaking, some or all of which would have for a time proved both physically and emotionally challenging. The young men who walk before us today are very different people from what they were when they first worked for, walked through the gates of St Paul's. They're probably fitter, they have better culinary skills, they have more confidence, they have a greater self-reliance and independence, and more importantly, they've commenced their journey into manhood. They're going to need all of those personal skills uh, next year when they enter our senior school. They'll no longer be placed in core classes and they'll have the majority of the lessons with a small selection of their peer group. 
They'll no longer be socially promoted from one year to the next. Their advancement will depend on their performance in Cambridge, NCA, internal and external assessments. Their classes will no longer be single sex, but instead be sprinkled with a mixture of quite bright, mature and very competitive young women. Life will revolve around assessment deadlines, self-motivation, discipline and resilience, and this will be critical to their overall performance. In the Man in the Mirror poem, which I read to you in Year 8, will become even more important or relevant in the next three years. You'll need to be very honest with yourself and true to the ideals that you believe in if you're going to be happy with the man who's going to be looking at you this time uh, in Year 13. Well, things will be different for you, and you might never kayak down rapids or bivy in the outdoors. That doesn't mean that you should discard what you have learnt from your past experiences. Instead, you need to utilise them, like you would a set of tools in a toolbox. The most important things that you've learnt over the past year, years is growing self-awareness of your strengths, and you are very aware of your work-ons. While you also would have gained an important set of people skills and a better ability to tolerate others and the differences and a great understanding of the ideas of teamwork and working together in order to achieve a common goal. Almost all of you have developed a group of strong friendships with people with whom you've shared very unique and special experiences with. But the aim really is to build on that experience. Look after your Tihoi diaries, because they'll be a good read in the future, and strive hard to stay true to the values of the man facing you in the mirror, because it is he who will be right with you to the last. All of you have changed and developed, um, and we look forward to working with you uh, in the future as you master the challenges we put before you in our co-educational senior school. I'm now going to invite Mr Jeremy Coley, Deputy Headmaster in charge of uh, Senior Academics, to elaborate further on the challenges that you will experience over the next few years. Mr Coley. Hey, we are Nā rangi tua tini tini. Heiuia nā rangi pukaikaha. Kia mai angi, ake te hautupua. Tau tonu, mau tonu, akina. I began with the karakia as it's pertinent to your journey. It can be translated back as such. Remove self-doubt and anxiety that your talent may shine settled, ready to be challenged. What does this mean for you? You may wonder. Fair enough. However, you have embarked on an experience unique to this place as nestled in the canopy of the Puriora Forest lies Tihoi, and you have committed yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually to the growth of yourself and one another. The caveat is, this is not only a destination that shapes you while on the expeditions, in the classroom, under the auspices and tutelage of the amazing teachers and Fano at Tihoi. It seeps into your bones and impacts you long after you have left. The Reverend alluded before to the people returning many years later and what it means to them. If you talk to any other older boy or 20 years or longer, they'll say it's a rite of passage you were anxious, you had self-doubt, you did settle, your talents did shine, and you are ready for more. 
For centuries, young adolescents have been engaged in rites of passages. Such a rite has at its foundation the separation from old to a time in between and towards a new stage. In the Pentecost Islands in Vanuatu, the precursor to bungee jumping, men jumped off wooden structures 20 to 30 metres high with two tree vines attached to their ankles and underwent a leap of faith associated with harvest rites and enhanced masculinity. Whilst you exchange vines for abseiling ropes, yours is nonetheless important. You have pushed yourself and others beyond what I imagine you thought. Some of you know that you have given it everything. Others know they did not. The trick is simple. How do you learn from this? How do you take these experiences into your educational journey in the senior school and beyond? Arriving into the senior school in 2021, what will you settle for? Your best or just some of your best? I know what your teachers expect. I know what your parents or caregivers expect. But more importantly, boys, young men, what do you expect? How far will you jump? Will you be tethered to excuses? Or will you turn over a new attitude to academic pursuits? A person very long ago said the following words, which still resonate today. If not now, when? If not you, who? What do Hillel the Elder's words mean for you? And I'll tell you. Those prepared to work hard will benefit and meet their best efforts. This will be different for everyone. Everyone's best is different. For some sitting here gaining level one, NCA is a monumental effort. Whilst others may see excellence as their minimum best effort or A stars. Regardless of your ability, you have the opportunities that others could only dream of. You must make this count. Leave the sacred place in no doubt. People will move every pebble, stone or rock in your academic path and help you carve your academic future to an obsidian one. Obsidian rock is a strongly protective stone. It forms a shield against negativity. It brings clearly to the mind and clears, clarity to the mind and clears confusion. Any confusion that you have had about how hard you must work next year must be eradicated in the summer ahead. It, you must be prepared next year to hit the ground running. I'm going to leave you with an allegory, allegory of the scorpion and the frog. And I want you to think about this message and I want you to say to yourself, I can do something about my nature. If I'm a little bit idle, if I take the easy path, I can do something about my nature. I'm not that bound to predetermined fates. I am the master of my fate. So I'll try to contextualise the scorpion and the frog a little bit. Um, so if you can imagine a scorpion and a frog uh, were on the banks of a babbling tea hoist stream and it was in, in rather quick, quick uh, kind of flood, but you had to cross. And the scorpion nicely asked the frog to carry him across on the bank. This makes the frog a little suspicious. And he asks, how do, how do I know you won't sting me? The scorpion says, don't be stupid, because if I do, I will die. We will both drown. And the frog thinks, that's a pretty good argument. And it relaxed his nerves. So he allows the scorpion to climb on his back, and he's crossing the Tihoi stream in full flow. And halfway through, he hears the and he feels it puncture his back. And he looks up as they descend into the water and says, why? 
And the scorpion simply says, because it was in my nature. You can change things. You're not bound just by your nature. Thank you, Mr. Coley. All right, so I'm now going to invite Mr. Hardman to read out the names of the graduates. Uh, Mrs. Smith will present the badges. I'm going to just make a little change to the program. Uh, and I'm going to ask Mr. Riggs, given his significant input into the academic side of the school, uh, he will do the first group uh, for intake one. He'll actually do the presentations of the certificates. Okay, good morning everyone. So we've got intake one graduation. So we have Eddie B, first in subject mathematics and science, third in subject English, first in class mathematics and science, third in class English and social studies. Kyle Bork. Flynn Buchanan. Lose away. Joshua Carswell. Second in class, English. Harry Chittick is away. Thomas Collingwood, third in subject, French. Ronan Cooper, second in subject, drama, third in subject, relig religious education. Joshua Costa, second in class, physical education. Round of applause for you, folks. <clears throat> Thomas Cotter, first in subject French, first in class English, second in class mathematics, and third in class social studies. Here's a way. Luke Cooper, second in class physical education, third in class English, science, and social studies. Jack Cunningham Moffat, third in subject to the Māori. Third in class physical education. Jackson Davy. Matthew de Hopman de Villiers St. Paul, who is away. First in subject physical education, second in subject French, first in class physical education. Oscar Draper Kidd. Jackson Dwyer, second in class social studies. Harry Flexman. Round of applause. <laughs> Joshua Ford. Kalani Fremantle Passon, who is away today. Blake Freiburg, first in subject religious education, third in subject drama, third in class science. Jacob Furness, second in subject materials technology. Cooper Gordon is away. Andrew Goff, third in class English. Nathan Green, first in subject design and visual communication. Second in subject, Spanish. Lawson Hart, second in subject, re religious education. Round of applause. <laughs> Ryan Higgins, second in class, social studies. Ryan Ho, third in subject Spanish, second in class social studies. Poen Shi receives an industry award, second in subject English, third in subject science, second in class English, mathematics, science. Peter Huang, first in subject art, first in class English, third in class mathematics and science. Caleb Hunt. Pang Junaman, first in class English, 
second in class mathematics, second in class social studies. Shodai Kagawa, first in subject materials technology, first in class mathematics, Arjun Kang. Arjun will receive the Pavlovich Cup for the most improved boy in intake one at the final prize giving. He also receives first in class in science and social studies. Round of applause, please. Adam Kerr. Theo Kington, first in class science and social studies, third in class physical education. Neil Ladd, second in subject art. Samuel Ladbrook, second in class mathematics. Jez Latelli. Not here. Matheson Lett. Alexander Lin, second in class English, second in class science, third in class mathematics. Caleb McKay receives an industry award, first in class physical education, second in class English, science, and social studies. Round of applause, please, for these boys. <laughs> Jackson Mackwood. Jackson will receive the Seaton Prize for the best boy in intake one at the final, final prize giving. He also receives first in music. Logan Matthews, second in subject to the Māori, first in class social studies. Ryan Mitchell, third in subject materials technology, first in class mathematics, second in class physical education and science. William Mollard, second in subject music. Teo Mortimer. Owen Abasiki, third in class physical education. Cooper Palmer, first in class physical education. Thomas Parker. Round of applause for these men. Thomas Pettigrew is away, he receives third in subject in art. Luke Rocher, first in subject English and social studies, first in class English and social studies, third in class physical education. Liam Rogers, Thomas Scribner, Conrad Simpson, second in class physical education. Garunmal Singh, Kane Sterling, third in subject design and visual communication. Thomas Stock, second in class for English. Round of applause. <laughs> Mila Tiara. Lewis Timo is away. Dishe Vaitoa Tuimanga. First in class for physical education. Russell Wallace. First in class science. Second in class mathematics. Jack Ward. Charlie Watson. Second in class English. Third in class mathematics. Third in class science. Kieran Wong. Leo Shi, first in class mathematics. Round of applause for these boys. Right, so that's, uh, we're halfway through for the year 10s, okay, uh, so the year 10 boys actually receive a Tihoi badge as part of their presentation up here with their graduation. We're about to um, 
have a musical item from the Year 10 music class performing I Don't Want to Miss a Thing by Aerosmith. So if I can welcome forward Mr. Tim Carpenter, Eddie B, Jackson Mackwood, Kieran Wong and William Mollard to entertain us. Watch you smile while you are sleeping While you're far away and dreaming I could spend my life in this sweet surrender I could stay lost in this moment forever Every moment spent
Outstanding. And uh, well done, Jackson. Good little solo at the end. Awesome. So this hopefully livened us up for the last little bit. So we have intake two graduation, Nathaniel Allen. Not here. Jackson Bays. First in class, English. First in class, social studies. Jack Bells. Joshua Blake, second in subject, design and visual communication. William Bodle, first in class, physical education. Hamish Boyd. Jamie Carruthers. Matthew Chanwai, first in subject, year 11 music. First in subject, Spanish. Second in subject, social studies. First in class, English. First in class social studies, third in class science. Big round of applause. <laughs> Guy Charteris. Frederick Coxhead receives an industry award. First in class physical education, second in class science, third in class English mathematics. Seamus Eid, first in subject drama, first in class mathematics, second in class science. Blake Finlayson, second in class mathematics, third in class English. Kane Fladgate, Harrison Gower. Cooper Greenoff, Remy Gruendijk, round of applause for these men. <laughs> Jackson Grews. Second in subject English, third in subject science, sorry, third in class science, third in class social studies. Carrie Go, industry award, second in subject science, third in subject mathematics, first in class science, second in class mathematics. Kipling Hailstone. Gain Harbutt, second in class physical education. William Thomas Holden. Sorry, William. William Holden Thomas. Apologies, William. Lucas Hopkins. Conrad Jackson. Sam Jeffress. Hugh Kennedy. Round of applause, please. <laughs> Zachary Kite, second in class social studies. Daniel Knox. James Ladbrook. Alicia Lane. Oscar Lawson. Keaton Leon. Second in class English, third in class science. George McIntosh. Third in class physical education. Hugo Medill. Hamish Malcolm, who is not with us today, he received third in class English and third in class for social studies. Round of applause for these men. <laughs> Ryan Mackay. Matthew McKinley. First in class English, second in class science. Sorry, first in class English, first in class science, second in class social studies.
Brody McLaren. James Milrell. Milrell. First in subject to Veo Māori, third in class physical education. Fergus Minkles, second in class physical education, third in class science and social studies. Lewis Moody. Lachlan Mott. Murray Myberg. First in class science, third in class mathematics. Round of applause. <coughs> Magnus Nelson. Samuel Nicholson. Samuel will receive the Harrington Cup for the most approved boy in intake two at the final prize giving. He also receives first in class for social studies. Thomas Palmer. First in class mathematics. Lockie Parker, second in class physical education. Jeremiah Pereira, second in subject physical education, first in class physical education, second in class mathematics, and second in class for science. Fred Phillips, third in subject mathematics, second in class mathematics. Michael Robinson, first in class physical education. Jack Rusk, third in class mathematics and third in class physical education. Round of applause. <laughs> Edward Seif. <coughs> Noah Smith. William Smith. Ben Spring. Ben will receive the prize, the Mortimer Prize for Best Boy of Intake 2 at the final prize giving. Joe Stock. Preston Sykes. First in class social studies, second in class mathematics, third in class physical education. Elliot Tam. First in class English, Jack Thomas, third in subject social studies, second in class social studies, third in class English, Raven Tiffany, big round of applause. <coughs> Doing really well, one to go. So we have Boston Tudor. Will Voigt Price. James Waddell. Third in subject, physical education. Second in class, physical education. Harrison Ward. Devin Williams. Riker Yearberry. Scott Joe. First in subject mathematics, <coughs> third in subject social studies, first in class mathematics, second in class English, second in class science, third in class social studies. Hounan Shu. Third in subject music, first in class mathematics, first in class science, second in class social studies. A round of applause. <coughs> okay, so we're just going to finish off um, by uh, singing Jerusalem in a few moments. But before we do that, I would like to invite all of the staff and the parents and guests that are here today, if you would like to join us uh, with uh, your young uh, year 10 men, 
all right, uh, we're going to have a, a morning tea over in the uh, dining room annex. So I look forward to seeing you there over there soon. All right, so look, thank you very much once again for attending. A uh, huge thank you to the Tiwi staff for coming up uh, and to all of those that have contributed to this very smooth uh, prize giving. All right, so please be upstanding for the singing of Jerusalem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite Mr. Riggs and Mr. Smith to leave, and as they leave, we're going to clap them out, right? Okay, so let's uh, invite our two very powerful members of the St. Paul's community to leave first. Thank you, boys. Take a seat. Parents, as the headmaster said, you're more than welcome to join the rest of the staff over.